Tonight, peace talks between representatives for the socialist dictatorship of Nicolas Maduro's regime in Venezuela and the opposition, led by the man the U.S. and over 50 other countries recognize as the president of Venezuela, they have ended with no deal. All this as the people of Venezuela grow more desperate. I want you to see this video. This is video of people waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're waiting for fuel. We're told that in some cases, people can wait in lines like that for four days. Joining me right now for the first reaction since the news out of Norway broke, live from Caracas, Venezuela, President Juan Guaido. Senor, good evening. Good evening, Trish. Thank you. Buenas noches. So what happened in Norway? Why is there no resolution? ¿Qué pasó en Norway? ¿Por qué no hay un acuerdo? ¿Qué te dicen los representantes de tu lado? Well, as you know, Trish, we have been uh, struggling in Venezuela for the past five months in the streets of Venezuela, demanding the end of the usurpation of power so we can serve uh, and attend the humanitarian crisis. We're talking about children that are suffering. We're talking about 7 million people that are in need of uh, dire need of humanitarian aid. In uh, Noruega, through the mediation uh, with other uh, uh, with other European actors and also the group of Lima. Those are the stages of our struggle so we, where we can attain the end of the usurpation of power, transitional government and free elections. Of course, we want to reach a solution to the conflict and we will be present at any negotiation for that. There was no agreement, uh, and there was no immediate agreement. So the chance that we have today is to remain in the streets with the group of Lima. There was an important meeting and the group of contacts next month. So we'll continue to advance on this uh, roadmap so we can uh, take care of this humanitarian crisis, 7 million people. It's more difficult, it's very difficult. You and more than five, 4 million people that have had to migrate uh, to other countries, to neighboring countries. Um, I understand that you did speak with the Vice President this evening, the Vice President, Mike Pence. What did he say? Yo entiendo que usted habló con el Vice Presidente, Mike Pence, esta noche. ¿Qué le dijo a usted? Yes, it was a very uh, kind uh, conversation with Vice President Mike Pence. Showed his concern uh, for the collapse of the social public services in Venezuela. Roberto Maduro is still uh, detained. Mr. Guzman, member of parliament, uh, they don't longer enjoy from the parliamentarian immunity. Uh, where they suffer from censorship. Even in internet access has been cut off uh, last week in, in Batisibuco. Uh, a very important department in Venezuela. Uh, but despite all this, we remain on the streets. We, rem we continue to talk in the group of Lima. We, the support that we have received from other countries supporting democracy and freedom. And at the end of the day, uh, we want this uh, transition towards, uh, towards uh, freedom and democracy again. It's muy importante la libertad. It's very important that you guys have that liberty there. What's happening now with the humanitarian aid? Is is any aid getting through? ¿Qué pasa ahora con la ayuda humanitaria? Hay ayuda que que está entrado. Sí, hemos logrado ingresos. Yes, we have. Uh, pero no en los volúmenes. Manage for it to get through, but not in the volume that's actually required. Por qué no? The humanitarian Why not? camps with a lot of difficulty, really. Por qué? Because uh, it's blocked by the government, uh, the government by, of Nicolás Maduro. They burned, said they set medicines on fire. Uh, they've blocked all our attempts to get humanitarian aid through. More than six 
children have died in the last week because of lack of treatment, especially in the interior of the country. The situation is dire. Qué lástima. It's, it's terrible. Um, tell me about what's happening right now with the military in Venezuela. ¿Qué está pasando con los militares en Venezuela ahora? In uh, hospitals in Venezuela, there are no medical supplies. There is no medical care. Even the primary care programs that was uh, uh, proclaimed by the government is no longer in existence. We, there are no vaccines for our children. This is a very delicate situation. We're talking about 7 million Venezuelans that are in need of humanitarian aid. And this has been caused by the incapacity of human beings, of, our, of the government, and uh, people who have stolen billions of dollars. We don't even have gasoline in our Venezuela tiene mucho. They are not able to, uh, to grow any food. They don't have any supplies. With oil. And, and you guys don't even have that, uh, these basic necessities. Hay una, hay una país con mucho, pero la gente tiene nada, but the people have nothing. Um, let me fast forward, assuming that you're able to get some negotiations uh, underway. What guarantee might you have, would you have, that if there are new elections, that those will be fair elections? Que garantee? garantía tiene usted de, de que si hay nuevas elecciones, que esas elecciones serán justas. The only way to have free elections today, truly free, which, which, by the way, we do not validate the elections from May 20th of last year. Yo sé, I know. We need to have a new electoral council so we can have true institutions that can actually guarantee participation for all stakeholders, for all parties. So we can also tend to the humanitarian crisis. We're very concerned because we can go from this uh, humanitarian crisis to a humanitarian catastrophe in the short term because of lack of uh, gas. For the past five months, a lot of people that have had no access to water, to drinking water. So that's the emergency that we need to take care of at the sí. moment. Ustedes no tienen agua, luz, medicina, fuel. You, you don't have these basic necessities like medicine and fuel and, in some cases, water. Um, let me turn to... You mentioned the Group of Lima. Are you seeing enough cooperation from Brazil and from Colombia? What's going on now? ¿Qué pasa ahora? ¿Estás viendo ayuda, ayuda suficiente, cooperación de, de Brasil y Colombia? Bueno, Brasil y Colombia, well, Brazil and Colombia have been uh, supporting us. They've received uh, Venezuelan migrants. Now we're talking about four million people that have migrated. This is the highest number in the last 30 years due to this humanitarian crisis and lack of opportunity. So in that regard, they have been supporting us, but also they have also uh, received the humanitarian aid. All the warehouse, all the aid from the United States, from Europe, has been stored in these two countries, in some centers. Even though we haven't been able to achieve the volume that we want, that we wanted due to the blockade of the uh, government of Venezuela. Because in the case of Colombia, the ELL, uh, according to them, 41 percent are participating in the region. Uh, in their paramilitary camp, which is also a threat for the region. Uh, well, um, and this has turned into uh, a very war worse and a very concerning situation for drug trafficking in the region. Es la verdad. I know we've reported on that. Um, well. Cuidado, be careful. Um, we're watching you and we're, we're all saying a prayer para Venezuela esta noche. Muchas gracias, señor Guaido, presidente Guaido, gracias.
Thank you. Thank you, Trish. We continue to struggle for freedom and for democracy.